Why? U.S. law enforcement and security agencies are ramping up coordination with their South Korean counterparts. Just eight weeks before the Winter Olympics, concerns are mounting that North Korea might engage in a violent provocation to disrupt the games, which are being held just 50 miles south of the DMZ. My concern are softer targets, and obviously things that uh, North Korea might do to provoke the South Koreans to, to attempt to, to, to cause either um, the games being shut down or uh, events being moved or potentially war. Security experts say soft targets like transportation hubs, schools, and shopping areas could be targeted by the North Koreans during the Olympics. Could athletes from America and elsewhere be in danger? U.S. Ambassador Nikki Haley hinted at it on Fox when asked if America would send its team to the Games. Do you feel comfortable sending family members if they were athletes on our team? I think it depends on what's going on at the time in the, in the country. We have to watch this closely, and it's changing by the day. But tonight, the White House and U.S. Olympic Committee say America is planning to send its athletes to the Winter Olympics. Still, there is a unique security threat at these games. The location and razor-sharp tensions over Kim's missile tests have the region on edge. North Korea has used tunnels to try to insert commandos and frogmen into South Korea for spying and assassinations. And the regime has a history of violence surrounding major South Korean sporting events. A South Korean airliner was blown up by two North Korean agents in 1987, with all 115 people on board killed. One of the agents was captured and said the bombing was ordered by the North's leaders to disrupt the 1988 Summer Olympics in Seoul. And during the 2002 World Cup in South Korea, North Korean patrol boats engaged in a skirmish with the South, leaving several servicemen on both sides dead. Analysts say Kim has strong motives for disrupting these Winter Olympics. He is facing the prospect of two years of maximum economic strangulation through sanctions and other law enforcement measures to really cripple his economy. He's going to look for ways to fight back. One way to fight back is to hurt the South Korean economy. The South Korean economy right now is 100% focused on a successful International Olympic event. So imagine cyber sabotage. So you don't kill anybody, but you just disrupt the economic flow, the transportation flow. You create a headache for the South Korean government. You make the South Koreans look bad.